what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video as you see in the thumbnail yes this is a screen 5 video we're going to be talking about the possibility of ghostface dying in the opening scene of screen 5 now before anyone jumps to any rash conclusions about what i mean there's a logical reason for what i'm talking about so in every screen movie we have an opening kill an opening attack something happens in the opening or we could have multiple fake out openings like screen four not i don't yeah they're definitely not going to do that I, I hope they don't but we know there's always an opening some type of setup that involves something happening in the opening of these movies so what i was thinking about was the idea of them playing with us making us think one thing and then we get a sense of relief later on when we see what's happening let's say that in and then just, just to backtrack because i want to preface this by saying i know there's a lot of people who have said they've like they would like to see a movie that starts off showing the marine prescott murder how that played out so in a way this could be kind of fulfilling but it's not exactly that because it's not marine prescott we're not going to see how she died or anything but think of it as you'll get something similar so we know we're going to have these two sisters, the Carpenter sisters, Sam and Tara Carpenter, played by Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega. It seems that Jenna Ortega's character is going to be the main character, Tara Carpenter, and Sidney Prescott will get involved, Sam Carpenter will get involved. But it feels like, honestly, Sam Carpenter's character will be just a side piece, and then I think the narrative will mostly be about Sidney and then Tara, for one reason or another. Sam we're expecting her to have some type of big involvement in it, but ultimately the film, I don't see it being about her. I see it being mostly about Tara and then Sydney Prescott. Now, what this has to do and how all these ladies will be connected, connected together, that's the part that has me a little perplexed. I'm excited to see what happens. Can't wait to see how they link them all together. Other than, of course, Sydney just coming to town. Because, again, I'm under the impression Dewey will die. That's what will draw her in. And she's just going to help these girls figure out who's after them. So what I was thinking about, getting back to the opening, is the fact that a lot of us are also speculating that Tara Carpenter, played by Jenna Ortega, will open the film and that there will be some other character with her. Some people have said this will be the third Carpenter sister who people are speculating about who could be the one to die. Some people speculate this will be played by Selena Gomez. Other people are speculating it will be Tara and her mother since we know there is a mother that will be in the film for Sam and Tara, but she won't be as involved as they are because of the fact that if you've seen those audition tapes, again, if you don't want any potential spoilers or anything like that, don't even bother watching any further, I guess. But if you saw those audition tapes, these aren't even like big spoilers or anything, but or even big hints. But what happened in the audition tapes was we know that there's a scene where they mentioned the mother of Sam and Tara Carpenter. Whether or not that happens in the movie, that's yet to be seen. But she exists. They were looking for this character to be portrayed by somebody because there was a roll call for her. And she just doesn't seem to have a big role. So what I was thinking about with this opening and getting back to Ghostface dying at the opening is that we could have a isolated incident occur where Tara Carpenter and her mother or her older sister are attacked by a Ghostface killer, taunted, harassed on the phone, the typical ordeal. It's very um, it's a very good opening. A lot of suspense, a lot of uh tension building gets under your skin very unnerving very disturbing kind of probably going to be one of the best opening sequences that we've gotten since the second screen film uh that's what i would hope for or even something that can compete with drew barrymore's opening from the original because we always would love to see something that comes close or something that outdoes that one that's what we all would love to see from a screen movie we have an opening where they're attacked by ghostface the mother or the older sister in this case whoever it is dies and that just leaves ghostface and tara jenna ortega jenna ortega though manages to kill this person and then that's it we are as the audience we think we're all of course going to be shocked we're like what the hell ghostface is dead and then you know we have the ambulance come um it's an isolated incident we even get to find out let's even say we get to find out who it is we get to find out who this person was and when I say we find out who it is, of course, it's not someone we recognize. This is just some random person. It's just some random person because we don't know them. 
but they are now dead and they were they were in this ghost face costume harassing these ladies and unfortunately someone ended up dead and tara managed to kill Ghostface before she ended up dead what happens though is we would have time pass by time passes by and the killings start again the killings start again more ghost face killings are occurring and it's happening all over woodsboro and of course that would draw in gail weathers dewey riley sydney prescott ultimately again would come in because dewey's gonna die full full believer in that and then what happens throughout the movie is the speculation that maybe what happened six months ago was supposed to be the start of what's happening now and it's it's kind of gonna be it's gonna be revealed that what happened six months ago or however many months ago because i think there's gonna be a, i'm thinking there's gonna be a time jump in my mind with this theory and that way they have something to work with as far as like what was that isolated incident about because what the opening is going to do it's going to subvert our expectations by not only having Ghostface getting killed one of the people he was trying to kill kills him we find out who the person is not to say that we would know him because it's just some random dude and then what happens is we have time pass the town of Woodsboro thinks that's an isolated incident and everything's over what happened though was they just had to regroup because they were not expecting that. They were trying to start what they were planning to do right then and there, but of course they had to regroup because the person that they put in that position ended up getting killed. So what I'm thinking about is them going in that direction of doing that whole cult thing with Ghostface, having a cult of Ghostfaces where they're kind of trying to do what Kevin was wanting to do originally with Scream 3, where Stu was the leader, but there's no Stu or anything like that. They're just trying to do that whole cult thing and do it in their own manner. So that's what I was talking about when I was saying Ghostface dies at the beginning of the film. Not to say that that's the only Ghostface, because that's the part that's going to have everyone shocked. Everyone's going to be just thrown off by the fact that the killer is dead and he's died at the opening of the film. But of course, we have several more minutes to watch so <laughs> i think people would catch on to it it's just them subverting your expectations already off the bat ghostface has died and we're going to jump six months later however many months later and we're going to catch up with new characters catch up with tara again and talk about how what's going on now was connected to what was trying to be started six months ago that's just my theory on this but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future without any of my guys i will see you in the next video